What is up guys, Shun of the King here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super discussion video. Uh, the last video I did, I was happy with the results, I enjoyed the feedback, so I thought I'd do another one. This will not, this will not be a review of Dragon Ball uh, episode 101, yeah 101. This will be more of a discussion about episode 101 with... Uh, spoilers in it, of course, and just more talking about the subject matter of the entire Tournament of Power. So, as I watched 101, overall, I thought it was a solid episode. I love the focus on Kale and uh, Khalifa, or Kali. And again, yes, uh, I understand last week when I talked about Kale, I was calling her Khalifa the entire video. Mistakes happen, he's a new character, I gotta get the names right. So, um, as the Tournament of Power has been going on, you know, this is probably one of the most hyped up arcs in Dragon Ball history, even more so than Goku Black. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, is this a really good arc or is, you know, the Toriyama group and everybody doing a great job so far the Tournament of Power? And to, if I had to answer that question right now, I have to say, I don't know. Honestly, the Tournament of Power has had some really, really great moments, but it's also had a lot of eh moments as well. And what I mean by that is, mostly the issue that I have so far with the Tournament of Power is it's too much Goku. I feel like, yes, I understand that Goku is the main protagonist of the series. It's gotta be about Goku, 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 but... In a show like Dragon Ball that's been on the air for 20 plus years, you've created a multitude of different characters, great characters. You got Gohan, you got Vegeta, hell, you got Piccolo, Krillin, 18, 17, all these people who are in the actual Tournament of Power. You got 10 Z fighters, plus 10 fighters from other universes. But if you actually look at the total screen time, Goku has monopolized at least 90% of the entire screen time so far. He's fought more people in the, in the tournament so far than, that's been shown than anyone else. And I'm, I'm, I'm starting to have a problem with that. I was okay with it at first, because again, you know, we know Goku's number one. We know at the end of the day, Goku will be one of the last people left in the tournament of power. So knowing that, I really wish that, you know, people over in Dragon Ball Super would utilize this time to give more highlight to the other Z Warriors. I mean, prime example, you know, they gave all this hype to Krillin, showed his growth, showed that, you know, he had this new power, you know, he gets into the tournament of power, he's going, you know, he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goku, showing his tenacity, and he does get a moment. He does get his moment to shine, but it was short-lived. I mean, he gets eliminated fairly quickly within the same episode. I mean, he got to, you know, save 17. I'm sorry, he got to save 18. And, you know, he got a, you know, he had a moment to show his little solar flare times 1,000. And, you know, he throwed a little stinky shoe on the wolf's nose. And, you know, stuff like that, but then he gets quickly eliminated. So that, to me, was like, okay, but, you know, why not get rid of... TN, like TN, no one likes TN, TN fucking sucks, but again, that's just one portion of it, let's not even talk about the Z Warriors, because again, that's just one universe, we should care about these other universes that we got introduced to, because again, Universe 6, with Chompa's universe, we also have great character thing. and yes, to be, to, to be clear, they are highlighting people from Universe 6, we've got multiple episodes with Kale, multiple episodes with Khalifa, uh, Kaba, we haven't really seen much of so far, but because we got him in the last tournament arc, we already kind of have some of his backstory, but again, what about Hit? I feel like why isn't Hit being more featured in this tournament of power? Like, he's eliminated like one person, but again, I want to see more Hit, and again, we could get that further along in the actual tournament, but here's my fear. My fear is, is that once we get to the top guys left in the tournament, which is the point that we're almost at right now, because even in episode 101, they came out and said that all the weaklings are gone now and things should really start to heat up. 
So what I don't want to see is Goku versus Topo again. Goku versus Hit again. Goku versus uh, Kale again. Basically, what I don't want to see is all the top fighters giving them a chance to fight Goku. I want them to mix it up. I want to see... I Honestly, I don't want to see Vegeta versus Hit. We've already seen that. Even if it's a, even if it's a quote-unquote rematch, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, let's move on. Why can't we get uh, and again, the same thing goes with uh, Goku versus uh, Topo. I don't want to see Goku versus Topo again because we've already seen that. Again, the only thing we haven't seen is Goku versus Jerry, which I know we're going to get. But there's no reason why Topo should have to fight Goku again. None. We've already seen that clash. Don't want to see it again. Why can't we get Vegeta versus Topo? Or why can't we get, better yet, why can't we get Hit versus Topo? Or Hit versus Jerry? And again, it's a possibility, but if I know the people at Dragon Ball Super, they're not going to do that. They like to do things paint by number. They got to they gotta be very basic. They're just literally like, okay, who can Goku fight this week? Who can Goku fight this week? All right, how can we give Vegeta his moment to shine before we get him eliminated? Because we know we're not going to eliminate uh, uh, Goku. And, and and that what brings me over to the overall crux of this to, to, to the whole point of this discussion. Is Goku shown too much in this tournament of power and i'd have to say yes i mean goku again we can go back to different shonen and just look at how things are done same thing is done with naruto naruto we know there are going to be certain things with naruto naruto's going to do the talk no jutsu to beat his enemies naruto will be the person fighting the last boss same thing with bleach ichigo will always be the person fighting the last boss but here's the difference I feel like in both Naruto and in Bleach Hell, even in One Piece, even though the main character always does the final fight, they all do a great job of showing the quote-unquote underlings or the seconds in command, getting their moments to shine, getting multiple moments to shine. And I feel like that same thing has not been applied to Dragon Ball. Yes, Vegeta has had his moments, but all in all, Vegeta always gets bodied. Like... The fact that Goku constantly keeps jumping above Vegeta is just mind-boggling to me. Prime example, when Beerus shows up, you know, Beerus bodies Goku, Super Saiyan 3, pluck up a finger. Goku couldn't touch him. But when Beerus comes and smacks Bulma, Vegeta as a Super Saiyan 2 is able to rage out and then get stronger than Goku, Super Saiyan 3, and then ends up getting more hits on Beerus than anything. But then what happens? Goku comes back, gets his huge power up, and then Vegeta's left at the wayside. Same thing happens again in the Goku Black arc. Vegeta starts training with Whis first, gets to get his Super Saiyan Blue. Goku decides to go train with him too. Goku elevates above Vegeta again. In the Goku Black arc fight, Vegeta has his moment to shine. They do a better job of letting Vegeta shine. But again, at the end of the day, Goku gets the final say. Well, in the manga at least. Because in the show, Trunks is actually the one that beats Zamasu. But in the actual manga, Goku is the one that perfects Super Saiyan Blue and defeats Zamasu. Or is the one that finishes the confrontation with Merge Zamasu. Not Vegeta. And same thing with um, same thing with Frieza. You know, Vegeta had his moment to shine, but again, overall, it was Goku who ended up finishing on Frieza, which again pisses me off because I'm just like, yes, Goku is the main protagonist, but he does not have to be the entire fucking show. He doesn't have to be. There's so many good characters. Gohan. Look at the growth of Gohan over the past 20 episodes alone. Gohan has done shit in the Tournament of Power. Shit. And again, I know there's more time, but so far, I'm like, all this all this, show, all this love you've been showing to Goku, you could have split that up and given some of that to Gohan. Just period. 
again, I don't want I don't I don't want this video to, to drag on too long. I kind of just wanted to open up the discussion to see what you guys think. Am I going crazy? Like what I what I would ideally like to see for the rest of this tournament of power is I'd like to see at least five episodes that did not focus on Goku. I'd like to get some more backstory on some of the other fighters from the other universes. I'd actually like to see I'd actually like to see some more fighters get background from the tournament of power. Like I know this week we're gonna get the um Brienne, Brienne transformation, like the whole Sailor Moon type transformations going on. So that looks cool. I but again, I don't wanna see them just fight Goku. Like seriously, like fight someone else. Fight Gohan. Fight Master Roshi for fuck's sake. Just don't put Goku in this fight again. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, can we get somebody else to fight these people other than fucking Goku? Because all that's going to happen is they're going to grab Goku from the back like they always do. Goku's going to pretend like he's so weak. Oh, I can't get out. And that was the other thing. Before I, you know what? I'm not done yet. That is the one gripe that I had about episode 101 that really, really pissed me off. Is this whole downgrading Goku and downgrading his power just so that people, it looks like people have a chance. Like the guy from uh, from the Pride Troopers that grabbed Goku and used his ability to make himself way more. And you know, of course, once again, it's like the fifth time this tournament where someone has gotten a drop on Goku and grabbed him from the back and was holding him in the dominant position. And this time this guy's increasing his gravity to, to make him heavier. You know, and damn well, Goku's trained at 300 times normal gravity. So this guy holding him down should be shouldn't be doing it, do that shit at all. But again, this is how they're doing it. And, 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 and the main reason why I say that is because later on in that exact same episode, the guy still weighing the same amount, presumably, because he didn't change back to his original form. Android 18 picked this dude up with one fucking hand and tossed him out of the ring. So if Android 18 can pick this dude up with one hand, why is Goku struggling just to hold him up? Why? He didn't go Super Saiyan. He didn't go Super Saiyan Blue. Even in his normal form, why is Goku struggling with this guy? It's fucking ridiculous. So I'm like, if you guys, you guys need to make up your mind. Either make Goku blow these weaker guys away, or just let him go off and fight somebody off screen and give us some more screen time for the Z fans or the other people. Here. Can I get some more Kale and Khalifa? I'd rather see that than more Goku right now. I don't want to see Goku anymore in the Tournament of Power for at least five episodes. Give me some, give me some Gohan. Give me some fucking Piccolo, who's one of my favorite Z fighters. Give me some fucking Piccolo. And not against this little foo foo fruity dude with the rose that's going to be. And I think that's why he was freaking out in the preview. Because I guess whatever fighter, I don't know what universe he's from, but I guess he's going to create Piccolo out. They, they always had that little trope in the show in as well. The androgynous fighter with the rose. He always got to have a rose. He always got to look real soft and but strong. Whatever. Again, let me know what you guys think. Comment in the section below. Is Goku being 